Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the Ram Mounts XGRIP 3 Tablet Cradle. This is the Ram-HOL-UN9. This is a universal cradle. It is designed to hold larger tablets, typically those with a 9 to 10 inch screen. That's when measured on the diagonal. Some tablets you might use with this cradle include the full-size Apple iPad, the 10.1 inch Samsung Galaxy Tab, or the 8.9 inch Kindle Fire HD. Here's what comes with when you purchase this cradle. You have here the main frame of the cradle. Down here some hardware, uh, six screws total, two long, four short. You have two nuts, two bolts, six rubber caps that are going to fit onto these metal prongs here on the cradle. And you also have two of these slide supports that fit onto the end of the cradle. So we're gonna get most of this off to the side for a moment. And we are going to start by getting those six rubber caps onto the prongs. So there are four in front, one on each corner, and two more in the back. Each one of these rubber caps has a slot on the bottom of it, and that'll just line right up with the prong, and you can get that pushed all the way down. So there's the second one. You're going to get uh, all four in front and the two in the back. The good news is that if you should happen to lose one of these rubber caps, uh, if you misplace it either through use or right at the onset, you can actually purchase them separately. You can get replacements for these. And there's the last one. Okay, so right away you can get a pretty good idea of how this cradle works. Uh, these two rubber caps in the back, you will squeeze down on those. That opens up the spring-loaded arms. Drop the tablet in, release, and that's going to hold the tablet in place. Just those rubber grips on the spring-loaded arms. So very easy to open and close, get the tablet in and out of the cradle. Here on the back, there are a couple different hole patterns, three circular hole patterns. There's one on the bottom, one in the middle, one on the top. And that's designed to line up with a plate like this, which is a RAM-B-202 round plate with one inch ball. Uh, that will line up with any one of these three hole patterns. Your choice depends on how you're going to have this mounted. And you will take some of the hardware that came with and bolt this plate right onto the back. This plate does not come with the cradle, though. Uh, you do have to purchase this separately or as part of a bundle. So here is some of the hardware that came with the cradle. We still have this left here on the table. You have six screws, four short, two long. The four short screws are for attaching this plate that I just showed you, RAM-B-202. The two long screws are if you are going to attach this plate, which is an RAP-B-238 plastic diamond plate with one inch ball. Uh, the reason that the screws are longer is that this plate is quite a bit thicker than the first one that I showed you. So you do need some longer screws just in order to compensate for that. But what you could do if you have this plate is line that up with one of the hole patterns on back. Instead of using up all four of the holes in one of them, it's only going to take up two. And then you can take those two long screws and get that bolted right on there. Obviously, this isn't going to be quite as secure because you're only using two holes instead of four, but in a pinch, it'll work just fine for you. So uh, what we're ready to do now is to take the other two parts from the beginning, the slide supports. There were two of them just like this. And what you can do with these, if you want, is those fit right there into the end of the cradle like so. And just provide uh, a little bit of sturdiness for the tablet. If you are going to be using it in landscape, I wouldn't worry too much about these. If you are going to have it in portrait most of the time, you might want to put these on there to give it a little more support at the top or bottom. These slide supports are not required. You can use both if you want. You can use one if you want. You can use zero if you want. Totally up to you. Uh, to show you how to get this on here, and this is actually probably the trickiest part of assembling this cradle, but you are going to take one of the nuts and one of the bolts. And the nuts, you will notice, one side is very light. 
the other side is very dark. So you're going to have the light colored side pointed up toward you and just get that dropped there uh, into the slot on the bottom of that slide support. And that will go right up in there uh, into that hole in the side of the cradle. Keep gravity on your side as much as you can to hold the nut in place because it's all too easy to drop the nut down inside into the cradle. Uh, if you do, normally a few good shakes will get it right out, but avoid it where you can. So even now I'm holding that nut in place with my finger because I don't want to lose it inside there. And you can probably see it right in there, but kind of keep the nut balanced with your finger. And now you're going to take the bolt and try and get that threaded right there into the nut. Uh, this can be, let's see that a little closer, this can be a little bit tricky. It can be a little bit time consuming. Um, just stay patient, stay at it. You can get it, just might take you a little bit. So get the bolt threaded there onto the nut and decide about uh, how far down you want this. If you want it all the way down or you can have it all the way up or you can have it somewhere in the middle. And then just get that tightened up the rest of the way. So that is about all there is to it. We have now finished assembling the XGRIP 3 cradle. We're ready to drop our tablet in, which today we have the third generation Apple iPad. So just as before, you can squeeze those grips on the back. That'll open up the arms, drop the iPad in, which you now have nice and secure in a cradle. You can hold it in here portrait or landscape. And even with one of those uh, slide supports, only one, I still have a pretty good grip here uh, on, the, on the tablet. It is going to stay in there pretty tight. Now, this is a universal cradle, so you can use it with different tablets. And you can see that it's pretty thin there in the cradle. So there's even quite a few cases that uh, this will be able to accommodate. Not all of the real thick, heavy-duty ones, but some of the thinner cases, the UN9 is going to work great for that. To release it from the cradle, same as before, uh, the two rubber grips in back, you'll just squeeze those together. That will open up the spring-loaded arms, and you can pull the tablet straight out. So that is a quick look at the Ram Mounts Universal X-Grip 3 tablet cradle. This is the Ram-HOL-UN9.